Thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure to be with you this afternoon. And Phil, you could have gone on a little longer, man. It wasn't that hard. Uh, it is a great pleasure to be with you. I love armies. I was in one for 35 years, three months, and 28 days. And our mission was to defend the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. But there was something else I had to do uh, in the course of that Army career as a lieutenant all the way through chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, and that was take care of the young men and women that were entrusted to my care. And very often, I ran into the same sorts of problems that you have been talking about, the same sorts of problems that this Army, the Salvation Army, works on. People who come in who are in need, people who perhaps haven't had the best health care in the course of their lives, people who are wondering what their purpose is in life, people who might be depressed. At the time the Army went from a draft to a volunteer force, I was getting a lot of young men in the Army who could not speak English or had no high school education or came from broken families. And I learned a lot about what it takes to get into the lives of these young people and make them responsible, make them have a purpose in life, to use a term that Pat used just a few moments ago. And so I feel very much at home with the Salvation Army. You've really been a part of my life throughout my life as a kid growing up in Harlem in the South Bronx section of New York. I remember vividly the kettles in the corners. It was the mark of Christmas. Christmas must be here. The Salvation Army is out on the corners. And I know now that we've come more and more politically correct, there are some companies who really don't want to see those kettles out there. They're wrong. We ought to have them in every single corner so that our fellow citizens can make a contribution to those of their fellow citizens who might be in need. And so I'm a Salvation Army guy. The word I was looking for this morning to describe the Army is noble. It has a nobility to it for what it has been doing ever since it was created 150 years ago by Mr. Booth and his wife. Simple premise, we have a responsibility to others. We have a responsibility, those of us who have benefited from the societies that we are in, whether it's the United Kingdom or here in the United States or under the many, many countries around the world in which the Army is present, we have an obligation, those of us who have the wherewithal we have a solemn obligation given to us by our faith, given to us by our nation to reach down, back, and across to help those who are in need. That's what you're doing here today. That's what you do every day that you support the Metropolitan Division of the Salvation Army.